Hello everyone. In human geography, the demographic transition model is pro probably one of the most iconic diagrams that you're going to get to draw. Now before we get started, the demographic transition model is what it says on the tin. It's a model that graphically describes the transition or the change in people in a country over a given time. Now because it's a model, let's not presume that this is always going to be based on reality. It can change, um, countries can skip stages, and it might always, or might not always, sorry, be exactly accurate. Now firstly, I'm just going to draw uh, the basic lines. Um, red represents death rates, and green represents birth rates. And as you can see, uh, this is a generic shape of the demographic transition model. Uh, any area where death rates, the red line is above the green line, the birth rates, we have an area of uh, natural decrease. So red hashed areas are natural decrease, whereas the other areas in green are natural increase. This is where birth rate is above death rate. Now the most important part of the demographic transition model and the part where all of the explanation takes place is what happens in each different stage. So as you can see, we're dividing up the demographic transition model into stages. Stage one occurs when you have high levels of both birth rate and death rate that fluctuate. So the population doesn't really change, it stays very stable because you have alternative natural increase and natural decrease. Stage two, on the other hand, only begins when death rate rapidly begins to fall due maybe because of um, various types of um, medical improvements or improvements in people's uh, living standards or things like that. Stage 3, on the other hand, only occurs when birth rates also begin to fall um, to try and meet with death rates. So this happens maybe because um, uh, people become wealthier, women have now more choices, or, uh, you know, generally, um, less children are needed because more of them survive through their infancy. Stage 4, on the other hand, occurs when both of these lines, the birth rate and the death rate, kind of like even out. They stay ar uh, around about the same. Typically speaking, birth rate is still a little bit above uh, death rate, so we still have a tiny amount of natural increase. Finally, stage 5, is when death rates now begin to exceed birth rates. And this is relatively less common um, than, say, a stage 4. It can occur in certain countries around the world. Uh, Greece was a prime example of this, where um, families were not having enough children to meet what we call the replacement rate um, of the population. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and uh, have a great day.